The New Jersey Meadowlands Commission capped off the day with a 30-ton crane hoisting an aluminum dome 20 feet in diameter into the air and onto the top of the William D. McDowell Observatory. I think it's great that one of the first pieces of the Science Center to be uh, put up and almost completed, that we're about 90 percent, is uh, the Bill William McDowell Observatory. Uh, Bill was a number uh, first and pioneer in many things in the Meadowlands, so it's only fitting that the observatory go up first, and, uh, and it's great for us to have uh, it named in his honor. The NGMC proudly dedicated the observatory to McDowell who was Bergen County's first executive director and recently passed away on April 30th. The observatory's state-of-the-art telescope will feature an advanced optical guidance system to cut through light pollution in a 6-meter retractable dome. It is part of the Meadowlands Center for Environmental and Scientific Education. The facility will include three classrooms, a wet laboratory, a classroom slash laboratory, administrative offices, storage space, and a lobby. It will be environmentally friendly and constructed in accordance with leadership in energy and environmental designs, or LEED gold standards. We're aiming for what's called a gold rating under the U.S. Green Building Council. So, for instance, it'll be more environmental friendly in the way that it uses uh, stormwater and wastewater. Uh, it'll have um, waterless urinals. We'll see how that well that works. We have uh, uh, recycled materials used in the building. A lot of the building materials come from, uh, locally rather than being transported over long distances. The wood has been harvested in an environmentally sustainable manner. Um, and, and at every step of the process, it's watched to make sure that that, that, that is the case. And um, uh, the, the building will use energy in a much more energy efficient manner. So, for instance, uh, it'll use um, fewer light bulbs, for instance, to get, its, to get uh, the, the uh, light into the building. We'll use more daylight. Uh, and the, the air conditioning and the HVAC system will be uh, as energy efficient as possible. On the forefront of the solar energy wave, the NJMC will also have solar panels installed on the side of the building. The, the, the building, uh, as you see it, will, will be sloping southward. We'll put the solar panels across the top of it, and uh, it'll, it'll get a certain amount of its power from solar power. The, the whole campus itself, all, all of the buildings here, about 50% of their power will come from these solar panels here, and then uh, about 700 kilowatts worth of panels um, um, elsewhere on the property. The observatory is being labeled as the focal point. Construction on the 10,000 square foot facility is expected to be completed around fall of this year. This is, this is really the, the signature event, I think, for, for the building, except when we cut the ribbon and folks start walking in. Um, it's, it's going to uh, really be the, the, the focal point of the building in terms of uh, letting folks come here to sort of explore the skies, really take advantage of one of the few observatories in the New York metropolitan area, open to the public. For more information on the ribbon cutting for the facility, check back with LeaderNewspapers.net or our weekly newspaper editions. This is Alexis Tarazi with the Leader Newspapers.